everybody, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> it is early Wednesday morning. We have a long day ahead of us because we're going to Universal. We're going to Halloween Horror Nights. But Katie and I are here at the Pop Century Resort. We're gonna get some breakfast and we're actually gonna do a little tour for y'all of the resort so you can see how cool it is, number one. And number two, see what they have if you're deciding to stay somewhere. Because so far, we've really enjoyed it probably as much as we enjoyed Art of Animation. So, I don't know, like it's just very nostalgic and I like it. We are walking into the main area here. As you can see, there's an arcade, which we'll explore a little bit later, but we're gonna take a right from the lobby, which is where you can check in or do whatever you gotta do, and go into the weird combination that is both the store and the food court, so we can get some food. Although first I'm gonna stop and buy another pair of sunglasses because I lost the other pair. They told me to take it off for figment, and so I did, and I put it on my shirt, and apparently I just dropped it on the ground and never saw it again. So. I was hoping you left them on the table. Me too! What the heck? And me too! <laughs> okay, now that we got that settled, I'm not gonna drop my sunglasses. It's also insane because I have so many pairs at home. So I have a collection of sunglasses, and I just didn't bring them. Anyway, we are walking into the new main food court. I know where I'm going. They've got waffles over here. I believe this also has the eggs. That's right, every single time. Katie and I cannot go to Disney World and not get Mickey waffles. It's looking delicious. So I got ourselves a boot, but I'm waiting for Katie to get back here. I actually have no idea where she is. So I got myself the Bountiful platter. It comes with waffles, tater tots, eggs, sausage, and bacon. I won't eat any of this stuff, it just comes with it but it looks pretty good. As I said, I love myself some Mickey waffles. All right, so we are gonna go and walk around and look at the different decades right now. So, Katie's already distracted. Oh, I have to go get a picture with Goofy. This is the Goofy campfire. I think they actually do campfires here. Groovy, it's the Groovy campfire from six to 7 p.m. That's great, and you get marshmallows. All right, I need to go get a picture with Goofy because this guy's great. I love how warm it is. <laughs> it's actually kind of chilly right now, but, <laughs> It's it's like 70, so to most people that's warm to me. I'm like, man, I wish it was 30 degrees warmer. Katie's pointing at the balcony over there. They have mood rings, so she goes, 70s. Also, like, the bell bottoms should have been a dead giveaway. So they, they only had two options for us. That was 50s and 70s. And so we clicked 50s because we at least knew that well, we actually don't know why we clicked that, but Katie likes that section. because yeah, we were deciding between Big Wheel and Telephone or Lady and Tramp. That's true. What I really wanted was the 80s because I wanted to see Roger Rabbit every morning, but it didn't happen. So the 70s has this giant Tyco bike. Big wheel. big wheel, that's what it's called, a big wheel, which we all had as a kid, I think. Oh, yeah. And then also like the foosball, which is actually pretty amazing. I love it. I actually enjoy foosball, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> And then here's Katie's favorite. You should get a picture right now, Katie, while there's nobody right here. It's a great shot. Look at the rock heads, Katie. Gators? Oh, I was right there. So we're by the lake, which actually leads back to our room eventually. As you can see, it goes like this. But as you walk this whole walking nature trail, it's not really a nature trail, but while you walk this trail, you get facts about the decades going, well, this way it goes back to the 50s, because that's where we're heading. But going this way, it heads towards the 90s, which is really fun. Here's Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. We're looking at the map and we can confirm that 50s has its own section, so does 60s and 70s, but then they mash 70, uh, 80s and 90s together, which is like, come on guys. <laughs> Roger. All the value resorts pretty much look the same. They just have like these three stories, oh sorry, four stories of hotels and then big statues and pools which is kind of fun, we like yeah, it. They're all kind of different, but also like stay the same, like so they're easy to navigate. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they have a, a, a system that works. Exactly. And coming up to my right is my boy, Roger Rabbit. Look at him, right there in the sun. Blinding us. <laughs> Blinding us, a beautiful man, or a beautiful rabbit. It's Roger. The first time I saw this, I cried a little bit. <laughs> because everyone doesn't address or acknowledge that he was like a huge part of Disney in the 80s. But could you imagine if he was like the mascot of Disney? Because he is like not PG at all. <laughs> it would not have ended well. Yeah, like Mickey and Minnie makes sense because it's like kid friendly. But Roger Rabbit like dates this like hot lady. <laughs> Voluptuous. Voluptuous. Voluptuous lady who's drawn like a villain. Oh yeah, you're right. We are on the keyboard for 
the, well actually no, that's a laptop. So we're just on a keyboard separate from that. Wait, is the pool a, a, a computer? 90s gets like one building, <laughs> which is kind of sad. I love that they have a giant laptop. Oh, that's a good hidden Mickey actually. Control Mickey delete. I thought you were looking at the monitor where it's like at least a hundred Mickeys. At that point, it's not hidden anymore. <laughs> At that point, it's just Mickey. Can you imagine if they added like a 2000 era section? Like what would that even entail? I mean, legally it is vintage. No, I know. 2000s are considered vintage now, which is when we graduated high school. I'm gonna mark that as 2003, not like 2010. And there we go, some floppy disks. So yeah, I guess the pool is a computer. All right, some other helpful information is that all the resorts do have on-site laundry, which we almost use because Katie and I were busy spilling our food on ourselves on day one. <laughs> so that's good to know. And I think there's three pools all together on Pop Century because there's one in what the 60s the 50s and then whatever this mass combination is over here oh there we go it's finally warming up katie and i need like the 90 degree weather and then we start feeling like normal people i've mentioned in other videos but if you're coming in here just to hear about pop century you can take the skyliner out of here into epcot and to hollywood studios it's so good oh my god i love that thing so much katie your thoughts on the skyliner i do like it it's it's an experience. She's afraid of it. <laughs> She's like, she like got, okay, we were walking to breakfast morning this morning. She's like, so what happens if it breaks down? I'm like, you wait until like it starts working again. She's like, but you'll be above the water. And I'm like, I don't think about these things. I just get on it and go. Like, do you ever hear people talking about the sky layer breaking down? No. Should I give the full tour of my anxiety brain? No, we're not so. gonna do that because <laughs> there's not enough time in this video to talk about Katie's not. anxiety brain because it really is just a spiral. But like if the thing crashes and you fall down into the lake and the thing's gonna fill with water because it's ventilated, so then you can't get out and then the alligators are gonna eat your carcass. This is why she's on anti-anxiety meds. We <laughs> recommend them. <laughs> I don't have this issue. I mean, I'm going on the coasters and not really worrying about it. I say thanks universe for protecting me. Thanks roller coaster for protecting me. And then we just go. All right, we have walked back into the lobby and we're gonna do a tour of what's here. But first I'm gonna stop by and talk to concierge because I have some questions about a power outage that's happening later this week. But as you can see, they have all these uh, vintage pieces of memorabilia from the ages and it's gorgeous okay so behind the front desk though they have all these different pictures i love the one the the people giggling on the pc from like the 1990s and payphone get some jazzercise action happening over here oh i also really 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 love the skates oh my god i just love that picture because i love roller skating but yeah, it's like this across the board. I can't show all of them right now, or I'm just choosing not to because I don't want to be obnoxious and stand in front of the front desk. I do love the old keyboards and monitors, and I love Star Wars, so it's pretty great. And over in this corner is like a little lounge. The kiddos can sit here and watch some TV, especially if you get in here a little bit early and you're waiting for your room to be ready. They have massage chairs, which if you've had a long day walking around the parks like we have, this is great. And they have a free Space Invaders machine. A game that I'm not very good at, but I'm gonna push it anyway and see how we do. I'm also doing this with one hand and I'm pretty impressed that like, I'm not dying. All right, let's explore the fast forward arcade. This is the sound of Ryan Pagella right here. Just lots of noises. <gasps> no, I didn't even see this. What? Are you kidding me? We haven't been in here in the past three days and there's an X-Men machine right here, right here. What? I think I played this at Pin the Pentastic convention I went to. Look at Magneto though. He is the best. They even have Emma and Mystique. We've also got Tron. But yeah, this is like prime time to be in the arcade because everybody went to the parks and we're not heading to them to one right now. So, wow, beautiful. This is almost like a traditional arcade too. They have like a lot of stuff, more than Dave and Buster's does. It's great in here. Okay, this Pac-Man air hockey machine is pretty sweet. I kind of want it for my apartment. All right, so coming back into the food court store, it's really cool. Katie's already found stuff. They have pin trading up in the corner, which we've already looked at. So there's pop century ears that have records and groovy. It's really funny because Katie keeps on picking up ears, but I've never seen her buy any. 
I've never really gone behind the whole Mickey ears thing. Like, it's cute. I like it, but I wouldn't buy one for myself. I think the most I ever liked was the Ratatouille ones. I can get behind this, though. I like the concept of, like, the visor. Yeah. Bring back the visor, everybody. Again, they've got so much pride stuff. It just really? keeps on growing everywhere I go, and I super appreciate it. Okay, we left the building, and we're going to go take a look at the pool over here. But this is the Hippy Dippy Pool. I don't know if it's actually called that or if Katie's just calling it no, that. It is the name of it. Okay. Look at but it. this it's is the big 60s. pool. It is the 60s. And we got Baloo. He watches you swim. He's got to take care of you. He does swim in the movie, he sort does. of. He kind of floats. Katie wins this battle. It is the hippy dippy pool. It's like one of those things that you would just say. It is. But I <laughs> so I was like, I don't believe you. And just talking about the hippy dippy pool, because earlier I was saying that there's laundry. Here's the laundry. If you look in there, that's where the laundry is. So 50s and 60s is tied together, and that's where we're at. This whole section that we're staying in in the 50s, like, look, we've got the music box that we used in Johnny Rockets back in the day. All this is, like, very Katie Mac. It is. It is, it is so your vibe. I love it. She loves the 50s era in terms of, like, music and aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe not so much the politics, but... <laughs> wow, I just realized that the pool is shaped like a bowling pin. Oh, cool. That's really awesome. That's then, of course, we got the Tramp. A lady over here, which of all the Disney films, probably one of my least favorites. I'm medium, it's cute, like trust me, it's all about dogs. But if I want a movie all about dogs, I usually just watch 101 Dalmatians because there's a lot of dogs in that. Right. And a lot of awesome dogs. And also, Oscar. What? Oscar and Company. Oliver? Oh, okay. Oliver and Company, Oscar the Grouch and Company. <laughs> Oscar and Company. <laughs> Oscar and Company. I'm leaving that all in. Here's a close up of the music box. I love this so much. I, I think this is one of the better props here too, but I'm sure kids do not appreciate it because they probably don't even know what it is. By the way, the stairs and elevators for these places are always directly behind these giant statues. So on the ends, there are also stairs you can use that are themed as well. So we got bowling pins, but we've been walking this way because we have your great view of the Hourglass Lake right outside our hotel room. Yeah, look at this view. It's gorgeous here. I love it. And we can get a great view of the Skyliner. And across from us over there, is the art of animation, which we stayed in for a different trip here. You can go back in my vlogs and see those. And you can actually access it here because over there where the Skyliner is, there's a bridge and it connects over to the art of animation. So you could take a walk over there if you really wanted to. It also says to watch out for alligators and snakes, but we have unfortunately not seen any because Katie and I are adamantly like hoping to see some. I found one on the Skyliner. <gasps> oh, I got a squirrel. People are really afraid of alligators. And they're like, if you move to Florida, there's alligators there. And Katie and I are like, the alligators are fine. We love alligators. We think they're awesome. So here's the thing. You leave the alligators alone, they leave you alone. Like most animals, honestly. Exactly. Appreciate from a distance. Stay on the trail. and Don't go up to the edge. Although I know that sometimes alligators can be really good at hiding. Yes. And like, you may not see it. So the best course of action is just to like, stay away from the edge of water in Florida. Which is fine. We don't need to be down there anyway. Like, Except for that one time Katie went really close to the water. But I and then she stood on fire ants. <laughs> okay, the fire ants hurt. See, here's the bowling pin. So we can climb up the stairs and go in the bowling pin to our room. Water! And this right here is the view outside of our room. It's a pretty great view. That's literally where we were just standing. And here is our home away from home which we already filmed on day one. Thanks for joining. If you have any other questions about Pop Century Resort that I haven't answered in here, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer that for you. I mean, it's pretty standard for a Disney hotel. It's got like the laundry, the pools, it has a store and a food court, you know, an excellent customer service. Yes. Um, but I really, I really like the views the most. And honestly, the Skyliner system is probably the best part of being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you can get to see more of my adventures. I am also back to Twitch at this point, the time that you're seeing this video. So, you know, make sure to come and play games with me there. And if you want to support me and see more videos like this one, you can hit me up on Patreon. All right, every day is an adventure and live your best life.